Alan Seals with First Alert Weather. The latest information on Harvey, it is due east of Corpus Christi, Texas, but it is moving northwestward at 10, and it is a Category 3 with 125 mile an hour winds. Now, keep in mind, northwest at 10, I'll show you what that means in terms of the landfall, but look at the winds. Offshore, winds 30 to 40 miles an hour. Those are the steady winds, but notice how far away from the center they are. Onshore, look a little bit closer. You're talking about 51, 52 at Port Aransas. Now, those are the steady winds, but then when you add the wind gust, us already onshore, winds are gusting from 56 to 63 miles an hour, and they are only going to increase to eventually over hurricane force. Here's the motion of the eye of the storm, and when you look really closely, it looks like it's moving faster. It also shows you that they do wobble, and the technical eye is right there in the middle, so it's that middle part that will define when it makes landfall. So given that it's moving northwestward, or let's say, for example, it were moving due westward, it would go about 30 miles to land. If it keeps going northwestward, that distance would be more like 27 miles. And if it starts going northward, the distance would be about 32. So in other words, where it makes landfall will define how long it will be before the center makes landfall. So in the bigger picture, that's where the hurricane warnings are because we know it'll be somewhere in that area that's surrounded by tropical storm warnings. And now new for this year from the Hurricane Center, storm surge warnings because storm surge is totally separate from the wind and the rain. Now they're somewhat related, but it's not always the same deal. And storm surge simply is wind blowing water up against the shore. The water goes uphill, it goes up rivers into bays, and the water rises. We know storm surge around here. Storm surge in this case, six to 12 feet close to where it makes landfall due to winds that will be about 125 miles an hour. Over the next several days, rainfall one to three feet and a couple of days with a threat for tornadoes. All of this because the system is going to be moving onshore in a straight line until tomorrow and then it stalls and then it starts to drift back westward. This is by Monday. It could be moving back into the Gulf of Mexico. Not that it's going to strengthen and be a bigger storm, but just the fact that it stays in the same general area is the threat of rain. Notice by Wednesday, a couple of models take it northeast, a few basically faded away. So lots of still different scenarios for what this is going to do after it makes landfall. Now, you've seen these little uh, abbreviations on those forecast computer models. In case you ever wondered, wondered, and this is on the WKRG website, each one is an acronym for a different country or a different name of a computer model, but no one of these is perfect. That's why we use all of them. So again, watch the wind speed though. By Saturday, after landfall this evening, 85 mile an hour winds. Sunday, it could still be 60 mile an hour winds. And then Monday, Tuesday, as it weakens to 40 mile an hour winds, mainly a rain system that could give us a little extra rain in the week. We're not going to get a direct impact from this, but not too wet this weekend, 20% or less tomorrow.